Committee for a Sane Nuclear Policy. Most of their group are students with uh, some professors and in no sense connected with communist or communist front organizations. There are among them, though, uninvited and resented, some small groups of the radical left whose slogan is, get out of Vietnam and let the communists take over. Here across the street in Lafayette Park, and carefully separated from the peace marchers by the width of Pennsylvania Avenue, there are too a small handful of marchers committed to the support of the administration policy in Vietnam. And they include some extremist right groups. Among the peace marchers in front of the White House, I spoke to one of the men who shortly will address the group at the Washington Monument. Mr. So far, there's been one violent incident. A Viet Cong flag was snatched from a left-wing demonstrator by this man, who was prevented by police from burning the flag. And CBS News reporter John Meyer talked to the demonstrator. They look like they're going to attack us. The police did absolutely nothing. They tore three of the flags. Later on, another group came through and they tore more flags. So this was not just one isolated incident. The police did nothing either time. I think the problem is this. Americans must have the right to demonstrate against governmental policy. It's not unpatriotic to disagree as to what is the right course in Vietnam or what is the right course in foreign policy. And it seems right now that this is a right that's being taken away from us. 